cheese o cheese table, um, tabla de quesos para navidad y los ingredientes que vamos a necesitar son, tenemos galletas, galletas navideñas de esta o de la que quieran usar, eh, de esta cualquier sabor o cualquier forma navideña, tenemos un goya, manzanillas para mis suscriptores latinos, de, de uh, aceitunas tenemos lechuga romana que la tenemos allá recién lavadita rosemary en dill que nos hacen como si fuera guirnalda navideña tenemos diferentes clases de quesos lo que quieran usar tenemos cheddar eh, este de cranberry con um, canela de queso de, de cabra tenemos el, el navideño el, el queso guda ya arrancó un pedazo para una receta tenemos las uvas con las cuales vamos a adornar. También tenemos cranberry y todo lo que quieran adornar. Con las aceitunas también vamos a adornar. Entonces, for my English subscribers, this is olives. We got dills and rosemary to make like as girls, uh, as garlands. Uh, we're going to use uh, Roman lettuce as well. We can use whatever kind of crackers I love those. Because they roast many crackers and they got the snow. You can use as well the, the other uh, seasonal version like, what's the name? Reeds. But I couldn't find them this year, but I like this. Oh, you can use whatever you want. I like those because I like spicy jalapenos. So you can use whatever kind you want. For the decor, our tree, that's the cheese board in a tree shape, you know. We're gonna use grapes, and I say everything, we use cranberries and all that, so let's jump into it. Like this, I'm gonna make sopina because probably I can make it. If you're gonna move the spray like this, I don't want it to use the spray me like this. Okay, the first step is cutting your star for your tree, for your Christmas tree. You see how it is? You got a, a cookie cutter, gonna be easy. So you got your piece here. And you're gonna throw your parts because we're gonna need for the rest of our table, for our rest of our cheese. Um, cheese board. So you're gonna cut in big pieces.
one option. We got whatever table you want. We got this Susan, Lazy Susan. So we're using different kind of cheeses you want. We have the Brie, the Brie cheese for the lovers of cheese. We got the blue cheese. Um, we got some prosciutto. We got use whatever charcuterie you want. We got some Italian prosciutto. We got the Gouda cheese leftovers from the first one. We got crackers here. We're gonna use the cracker. We're gonna put the, the cracker for the first one, but you can put it inside of the dish. We got some cranberry. We're gonna make some recipe for this. And we got the same olives. We got some um, pecans, or some nuts, syrup, honey, and whatever thing you, we use. And some um, mm, nice um, for cheeses. She's nice. So let's go to begin. So you put your cheeses on display. Open, <laughs> open them. Depending the quantity of inviting or guests you're gonna have. And okay. the size of your table, tell me, please. <laughs> and the cheese you're gonna use. Mostly of the people don't like blue cheese, so I just got a few cheese. Those cheeses sometimes don't smell the best, but, <laughs> but they so appetizing. Yeah. You need to remove from the paper. Mm -hmm. You need to remove from the paper. Mm. This is buttermilk, blue cheese. Work as well. This is the perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you put your good cheese. It needs to be whole. Mm -hmm. I think like it. it's a sticky. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, baby. Baby, hungry. It's gonna be hard because. This cheese, as you see, is super soft. Oh. So with the prosciutto, we had a Tritano cheese here. Let me remove this. Oh. And with the prosciutto, what we're gonna do is, um, people like prosciutto, they come like this. If no prosciutto, um, they sell in Europe, and this is like raw something kind of handle the lady like dry and dry in and all this they the best so um, yeah look like bacon and what we're gonna do with their different is that we do can make it like what do you use those soups that they sell in the market here like with labor and roll over um, in this case i'm gonna prepare with some um cranberries so i'm gonna cut my cranberry sauce and i'm gonna put just right in the middle and i'm gonna wrap just like this and i'm gonna say just like this people like it mm. and my friends like it's not inviting so i recommend you do this process too or if they like broken or something you can make it i just showing how to do it i just gonna put two here just to show don't have to be perfect but they're gonna be lovely like this um and you at the end we put all that now our fruits, eagles, eagles, um, what kind of, um, grapes, more grapes, nuts, more cheese as you want. 
just remember the crackers. Let me just place some crackers in there. It's a mix of salty. Not the crackers, but like in a row, like they be falling, like you know, like you know, like falling. Mm -hmm. falling. because my husband love it <laughs> but you can use um pecans and all kind of stuff people love to eat pecans there's a tradition about the nuts i don't know why but blah, 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 blah. okay and this is the end result we put some decor here now crackers and our olives that we can forget if you want you can use this is the syrup because you know I, I didn't have to both to put to the crackers just to the cheeses and um that's the end result and now we can use our our knives to eat the cheeses this is the one who go to the to the gouda cheese so the people can cut and this with the blue cheese and the brie with the soft cheeses you put it in the people serve here's the stuff and they can enjoy so uh, let's gonna try let's gonna try mom <laughs> try whatever you want i don't wanna try this i'm gonna try some cheddar right here so i invite you try try camarilla production Mm-hmm. 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 Have some inspiration and can make those recipes in your parties, in your events. Um, give me if you like, give me a big thumb up, share the, share our video. Um, and see you soon. For my subscribe, for my Latino people, I hope espero que hagan esta receta pronto. Que la hagan en sus fiestas y la disfruten en familia. Espero haberles dado una inspiración. Y si les gustó, denme un gran like. Y compartan estos videos y nos vemos pronto. Feliz Navidad y espero que les haya gustado estos 12 días de Navidad. Gracias a todos los que hicieron parte de esto. Y gracias a mi gran acompañante. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We 